what's up guys so i'm gonna get into a general reading um so i've been having this download since yesterday i was supposed to post a video yesterday but i was recharging all weekend um i just felt the need to <laughs> but um so i had this download yesterday and it's been replaying in my head today like until i fucking made the video the download was so you guys somebody sent you a spiritual attack or some sort of uh there's some sort of spell work or something on you but you slept through this or slept it off literally so that's what i have like some something that somebody tried to send your way or project upon you or conjure up i don't know what the fuck they were doing whatever this was you slept through it you slept through it or you slept it off like you could have slept for a long time or when they did it, you were asleep and you're powered up in your sleep. You're your higher self version while you're in your sleep. Um, and you slept this shit off or you slept through it, period. That's the message that I got. Somebody slept off or slept through a spiritual attack, okay? So, yeah, this is going to be exposed to you here or this person will be exposed to you. I'm also getting for some of you guys, this person, like their face was exposed to you in your dream state. Or you seen this person doing something um in your dream state okay all right so we have here the two of cups the five of pentacles and the three of swords in reverse this is a past lover that you guys left let go of or left out in the cold that you no longer have feelings for that no this person no longer affects you or whatever that they put you through you've healed from with the three of swords in reverse you don't feel no heartbreak no pain when you look at this person when you hear about this person when you see this person nothing um it does not bother you so this could this could have definitely been sent from somebody you had a relationship with or that you were romantically involved with For some of you guys, it's something significant about a different race. Okay, maybe this was a friendship or a friend or something like that. This person could be lighter than you or darker than you. I don't fucking know. Okay, um, but it's something significant about their nationality or their culture, who they like, their their skin color. Oh, this fell on the floor. All right, so we have the Ace of Pentacles. So somebody sent this your way um, because you have some sort of new opportunities coming in or some sort of like new venture that's taken off for you. It could be really big, okay? But for the most part, I'm getting like you have a lot of opportunities coming in. For some of you guys, somebody tried to offer you something or come and offer you a apology or a commitment or reconciliation. You could have denied this person. So somebody was revengeful or vengeful yeah eight of cups whatever this person tried to offer to you, you walked away from you did not want it you don't want to work together with this person here all right so we have the king of pentacles okay so <laughs> with the page of swords in reverse And the Ten of Swords in reverse. So somebody here could have definitely abused some sort of authority here. Or somebody is envious of your financial status or your financial potential is also what I heard. Financial potential. So maybe you guys have a potential to become very wealthy or you have the potential to become very financially stable. Or you are this and it's growing bigger. Something like that here. Anyway, somebody could have been spreading like bad news uh, on you here. I literally heard bad news with the Page of Swords in reverse. Um, but it didn't go anywhere. They didn't win. They didn't succeed here with the Ten of Swords in reverse. This person could have tried to end your reputation or make you look bad here with the Ten of Swords in reverse. Falling diagonally on this King of Pentacles. Somebody could have tried to make you look bad to try to block some sort of financial opportunity or try to block people from working with you or coming towards you and this did not work
They ass get exposed. Whoever this is, they get exposed here. It comes to light. I heard it was done in the dark comes to light. So whatever this person was doing in the dark comes to light here. Yep, four of cups. You didn't want to take this person offer. You were not interested. Um, you bypassed this offer here. Somebody's ego was hurt. Is yeah, with the sun card, and uh, somebody's ego was hurt here. Because you don't want to work together with with them. You don't want to celebrate with them. You don't want to uh, collab with them, partner with them. Nothing. Like you're not interested in this person. You have a lot of options and you have a lot of opportunities. And so I just feel there's an energy that's very jealous of you. So they try to um, affect your energy. Recently, like I said, the channel message was somebody um, tried to send us a, a spiritual attack or do some spell work to you here, but your ass was sleep or you slept through it, period. So somebody's confused because now you're like really disinterested in them. You don't want to celebrate with them. You have hella other options. You want to be around other people. Somebody feels left out in the cold and they felt vengeful. So somebody tried to get back at you. This shit backfires. Um, you like want nothing to do with them. Like I feel like it's a big red X, like a hell no. Um, yeah, this person's a big ass red flag. That's how you view this person. We have the death card in reverse. This person does not want this to be over with, but I feel like that this shit is over with. You don't want this person to return. It's a done deal. Somebody could be in denial that um, something's over. Yeah, if I was, this person is jealous. They're jealous of the new company that you have. I have said in the other video, I said your life is about to change, so your company is going to change. Somebody's jealous of the new company that you have because this person did not have good energy. That's why spirit removed them from, from your life. The way that this person would, could have been removed could have been so dramatic or so, like, clear. Like, it was the clarity that you needed. It was a big epiphany, whatever. So you was able to see this person true color. So that's why this person is not in your circle. This person is not in your circle. You have, you're calling in your soul tribe. Your soul tribe is coming in here. I'm sorry, let me fix the cards. Three of Pentacles with a seven of cups here. Um said three of pentacles yeah but you're collaborating with new people three of pentacles three of cups with the seven of cups here yeah people that you know get the picture they're not illusionists you know you don't have to question their motherfucking motives and shit these are people you can celebrate with have good vibes with this person is jealous because you do not want to take their cup and you don't want to take their offer you don't want this person to come celebrate with your friends with your new soul tribe with your new family with your new lover, you don't, with your new coworkers, they, you don't want this person around these people because they have good vibes. They have good spirits and y'all are successful together. And you, this person blocked you. And that's why you are standoffish to this energy. And they are jealous that you see the truth about them. And they are in denial that you really cut them out. So this person is going to still try to communicate with you or still talk to you to, uh, about talk about you to other people like that you're still in their life this person's delusional this is the type of person like if you're in a relationship with they're still telling people that y'all are together and you're not together with them they're telling people you guys are on a break or you know etc etc if this is a friend they're telling people um you're not talking about them when you're saying you got new people off you're cutting off all snakes and um you know what I'm saying? You don't communicate. Somebody's trying to frame it like they're still around you. They're still cool with you. They don't want people to know you're not fucking with their ass because they the snake. All right, seven of wands, you block this energy off. You block this person off because you've seen their true intentions. You're jealous of me. You're jealous of, you know what I'm saying, my path, my destiny, what God has blessed me with here. I cannot communicate with you and I don't want to. So somebody is blocked off. And they are refusing to believe that you have blocked this person off. Yep, ten of wands. Somebody could have a lot of shit going on, or somebody's watching to. Somebody's like watching to see if like you get overwhelmed or you can't handle something. Somebody's low key like wishing burdens on you, and it's not happening. Instead, like you're growing more seeds. You're very patient. You're at peace. 
Like somebody is really triggered by you is what I'm getting. Yeah, I'm not lying. Ace of Swords here, the truth. I feel like you see the truth about somebody. You seen the truth about somebody's intentions. Somebody was trying to wish hardships on you and this shit backfires and you cut their ass the fuck out. You're not dealing with their ass no more. You're having new beginnings elsewhere. The full card. Yeah, six of wands. And you should walk straight into success. Whoever this is you're holding back from or you cut communication from, that was the right decision that you needed to make because somebody had ill intentions. And when you let this person go, you bring in blessings because this person was a huge blockage. I don't know if you've seen it like that at then, but I feel like you're starting to realize that this person was a huge blockage. This person blocked your finances, blocked your love life, you know what I'm saying, blocked a lot of shit for you. And when you realize that and cut their ass off and walk elsewhere, because I'm not finna stay around you, motherfucker. I could walk with just me and God. It could be just me and God, me and spirit, and I'll be straight. You knew this about yourself. The full card. You have a lot of faith. You have a lot of <laughs> like aspirations, like some deep shit, like, and you're open to receiving it. You're open to walking that path. And so you walk straight into success and somebody can't stand that shit because how are you still winning? Like you're winning. I'm finna get some bad karma. That's how somebody is feeling. Cause they tried to block you for a long time. Yeah. This person was really cold to you or really shady towards you here with the King of Swords coming out and the Queen of Wands. This person could have been de definitely envious of your attraction, your ambition, your fire, your flame, your, your, you know, that go energy. You have a go energy to you, regardless if you're a fire sign or not. You're very ambitious. You actually set goals for yourself. You actually intend on hitting them shits. This ain't just no chatter. This ain't just no maybe, maybe, maybe. No, this is going to happen type shit. You step into your I am energy and create shit. You're a creator. Somebody did not know who they was fucking with. And they're learning like a big ass lesson about life and about you all in one. Along with karma, God, universe. Somebody is getting a fucking ass whooping. Yo ass blocked them off. I don't want to talk to you. Come towards me if you want to. You might get your ass beat or I might read you the filth because the angels kept kept was trying to keep your ass away from me and you keep you keep on trying to step over my boundaries and their boundaries. At this point, somebody could be trying to target you in the spiritual realm. They're getting blocked off up, up there too. You're beating their ass in the spiritual realm. They're getting beat up by your spiritual team. You know, not to be no, you know what I'm saying, mean ass, but I'm just being honest because somebody was trying to block your abundance here. Do you see this? Two of swords with the nine of pentacles. Somebody did not like that you were independent, self-sufficient, beautiful, at peace, happy, creative. Different. Like different. I'm getting eccentric and proud. Weird and proud. Quirky and proud. Some shit like that. Yeah, and I'm in my own bubble and world. And you're abundant while at it. You're not bothering nobody. Somebody just does not understand. How did I not block this person? You're not powerful enough. You're weak because you're targeting somebody else. Duh. That's some basic book shit for people that work with the spiritual realm. If you got to sneak attack somebody, target somebody without their knowledge, especially in the spiritual, that's a fucking sneak attack. And that says a lot about your status, your energy, and just who you are. Weak. Weak trying to target a powerful person. Weak trying to siphon energy from a powerful person. You get karma for that shit. No, you will not successfully block somebody that walks with God. You know, you will not successfully block somebody who is a divine person. Divine feminine, masculine, does not matter. No, you will not successfully block somebody who is an earth angel. Check yourself before you wreck yourself. Loud and clear, I just heard. Somebody learned a big ass lesson for fucking with you. Somebody is envious of your, your life, your hard work, your dedication, your peace. Somebody does not want to see you at peace. And they will not be at peace for having those intentions. Somebody is getting karma. What they put out, what they projected to you, what they tried to siphon towards you, what they tried to send towards you is coming back to their ass in tenfold. And you will still be blessed. 
You will still win. You will still be successful, but not without seeing the truth, not without being wise, not without being tapped in. You're all of that. Somebody underestimated you. Somebody underestimated your wisdom. Somebody underestimated your solitude. Somebody underestimated your connection and they learned a big ass lesson about you in the spiritual realm. You will receive real love from people like that really appreciate you, really adore you, really want to support you. This is love, like as in relationships, family, you're going to be calling in your soul family. All right. Soul tribe. Okay. True, genuine friends, true, genuine supporters. People that got your back, they're not going to switch on you. They understand you're human too. You go through shit. They understand I need to re that you need to recharge some days. And you understand that about them. They understand that you have divine, you know what I'm saying, duties. And they got a divine path to walk as well. So these are going to be people that understand and respect your individuality and you as a person in this life and love you for being you, being true, being authentic. And you're going to support and cherish these people for living in their authenticity also. This is something that you are going to teach, preach, and push and promote to people. Be who you are. Stand in your truth and love it. All this love that you pour into people, you are going to receive in tenfold. You are being guided to people that would truly love you. And, and, and you are also, they're being guided to you, but you're being guided to them. Because the, the shit is going to mutual. You're going to swap and pour into each other. This is an overflowing cup. Genuine emotions, genuine support, genuine love here. Expect true love. Yes, a partner. But expect true love from the outer world also. It's here. You deserve that shit because that's what you poured into people. And it's sad to say it was the wrong people. But you had to pour into the wrong people to learn those life lessons. To build that wisdom. To build that knowledge. To build that you know what I'm saying? Stability within your emotions, yourself, by going through certain lessons, by going through certain experiences. Yes, that yes, broke you down, but built you up to where you'll never be broke down like that again. So yes, you're grateful for everything, even the fucking pain, because the pain ultimately brought you your pleasure, period. There's somebody that wants to come towards you here that's fantasizing about you. They're scared because they feel like that you're in a, a stern, strict energy. Somebody's scared that you're going to shoot them down with words here with the Queen of Swords coming out. All right. You have a very like strong power within you. You, uh, you are intimidating somebody here and they want to approach you. Two of Wands, Queen of Swords, Queen of Cups, but they know that you're a sweetheart deep down within. You're intimidating somebody, but you're really nurturing. You, you will really give a fuck and listen to this person if they came towards you. All right, Ten of Cups. Yes, somebody wants fulfillment with you here. Fulfillment, happiness, bliss. Somebody wants to build some shit with you here. Like a family, like a house, like a home. Somebody wants to pour into you. They want to make you happy for a long time. So do not be closed off to this person. But also use your discernment because you know that there's frogs around here. There's frogs around here. All right? Toads and shit. But you got a king, an emperor that's coming in and they waiting to see when is the right time because they feel like your guard is up with the queen of swords. But it's not. You just got boundaries with the queen of swords and the queen of cups. Your guard not up. You're not a mean ass. You still nurturing. You still sweet. You still kind. You still loving. You're still human. You're still genuine. But I do have boundaries. So this person's trying to figure out how to approach you here. This is going to be your justice. This is somebody from your past. Somebody wants to balance the situation out with you here is what I'm seeing. But some of you guys, it could be a mother figure or some sort of family figure here with the Ten of Cups and the Queen of Cups. Somebody's thinking about you or could be thinking about traveling towards you. Yeah, Nine of Cups. Because you fulfill here. You are really like having your way. And it's not on no, like, sassy shit. I mean, you, I feel like whoever I'm talking, you kind of sassy. You is kind of sassy. I ain't gonna hold you. 
sassy and sexy and motherfucker. Yeah, you are. You are. I'm getting that. But, you know what I'm saying? You are balanced. You are caring. You know what I'm saying? But you are also acknowledging your blessings. You're acknowledging why you're getting them too. You know the energy you've been putting out. So you know that's your blessing. This is somebody that claimed their shit. I'm going to claim all nine cups because God gave them all nine to me. And I'm not going to feel shameful at all for my blessings. <laughs> this is you. All right. You're really like, you're stable. You're happy. You're fulfilled. Like whatever you need is taken care of is given to you here. That is your justice, nine of cups. Any wish that you have will be fulfilled. Any wish that you have or you send out will be granted. This is that energy that you in. So somebody could want to approach you at this time because somebody could be having a realization of their own. Somebody could have viewed you in the wrong light due to a fucking uh, false communication here with this page, page of swords in reverse. And that could have hurt you a long time ago, but you healed from it. Like, fuck that shit. If you believe that, then so be it. You too grown to believe in gossip now. Come ask the fucking um, originator. Don't listen to the messenger. The messenger heard that shit from somebody. You know what I'm saying? Go to the source. Somebody could have built up a whole persona or built up a whole perspective on you here due to some false information. Due to somebody that was bitter or spiteful here. Three of swords in reverse. Period. So somebody could be feeling foolish about how they treated you due to miscommunication, false communication. Fuck that. And you don't give a fuck because you still eating. You still eating. You at a table, a big ass table with a buffet and it's just you. Yeah, you real big, real blessed. I'm seeing gold, golden arches and shit like you about to walk into straight royalty because you knew the whole time what the truth really was. And you let whoever and whenever and why ever believe whatever. You sure did. And you stood in your truth. And you stood by God. You knew damn well that won't me. I got too much integrity. I have too many morals. And I have way too many boundaries. So that's some bullshit. But you ain't even have to say that. You let the fucking, you let your work speak for itself. You let your reality, you let your life speak for itself. You are not to be played with and somebody realizing that about you. So don't don't be surprised if somebody comes in or multiple people multiple people come in trying to give you an apology. You will have your guard up against these people. And they know that you guarded towards them. So they in their head about this. A lot of these people can't sleep and they're anxious. But they want to work together with you again because they realize the truth. You're st I'm telling you, somebody's upgrading the higher font. Somebody's stepping into some fucking authority here. Period. Take a resonate, leave or do not. Those are the messages that I have for y'all. I love y'all to pieces. I hope you had a good weekend. Remember to protect yourself and make sure that you take care of yourself and to recharge when it's needed to be. Love y'all to pieces. Love light. Like, comment, subscribe. You can book a personal through my channel's description. I'll be back with another one soon. Talking to me out.